Hey everybody. As we wind down the school year, many of the band programs across the country are beginning their leadership tryouts. And many of you will be trying out for drum major of your particular program. This is the first of a two-part series talking about how to go about that process and how to become a drum major of your high school band or of a drum corps. My name is Caleb and you're watching The Future Millionaire Band Director. For this video and for the next video, I decided to bring in an expert to offer their expertise. Hi, my name is Claire Wilcox. I was a, or am a drum major. Um, I've been a drum major for several years, starting in high school. I was a drum major for two years at O'Fallon Township High School in O'Fallon, Illinois, which is where I grew up. And then I went on to be a conductor and head conductor of the Phantom Regiment from 2018 until the present day. As a conductor of the Phantom Regiment, she has also won the Jim Jones Leadership Award, which is an award given to the outstanding drum major in drum corps. I want to offer some advice to you as you get ready to audition for a high school drum major. These are some things that I wish that I would have known when I was beginning that process back in my freshman and sophomore year. Even though no school uses the exact same audition process, it's a pretty safe bet that your audition will include some element of conducting, an interview, an essay, maybe a marching portion, a playing portion, or a teaching portion. So to become drum major at my high school, there was a um, interview slash audition process that we went through. It started with a clinic that we all attended where we learned the material or what was going to be expected in the audition, which was typically some conducting different patterns, knowing different tempos um, from memory, and then like conducting the Star Spangled Banner. Um, and then there was an interview. Yeah, conducting, conducting and singing the Star Spangled Banner, mind you. At the same time? Yes. <laughs> what? That's so sick. Yes. <laughs> yep. And then um, there was a pretty extensive interview just to kind of get to know you, what kind of person you are. They would ask specific questions about, um, you know, your presence in the band in the previous years up until that point. Before you begin the official audition process, it's important to know that your band directors already have an opinion of you. Yeah, so you start your audition for drum major the minute you walk into the door of the band room on freshman year day one. That is when you start your drum major audition because your director is observing you, is looking at all of the kids, seeing who is really excited about band, who wants to be there um, and who is not, who are the problem children, who are the, the you know, quote unquote good children, who is doing their job, who is not. Um, because by the time you get to your interview, sophomore year, the end of freshman year, whenever your interview is, they already knew, know who you are because they've already interacted with you up until that point. So it's super important that you're keeping that in mind every single day when you go to band. Are you working hard to be your best member that very day and not waiting until you're actually auditioning to start stepping up? You've been auditioning since the first day of your freshman year. The way that you rehearse how often you're early or late, how often you stay after rehearsal, how often you help the members of your section, are all things that go into the opinion of your band director before your interview. It doesn't matter how well you play or how well you can teach if you're not a person that is dedicated to showing up early and staying late for the band program. You see, one of the misconceptions about being drum major is that conducting is the most important part. If you do a YouTube search right now for how to be drum major, most of the videos that you're gonna find are going to be about the conducting. In fact, I tell the students at my school who are auditioning for drum major that the conducting portion of their audition is the least important part of the process. It's my thought, and the thought of many of my colleagues and mentors, that conducting is a skill that can be taught, whether it's at a drum major camp or sometime before the band camp starts. The conducting portion of the drum major job is also a very little portion of what drum majors actually do, as Claire goes on to describe. You know, while I also was just really driven, I think that part of me loved the idea of getting to stand on the podium and stand in front of the band and get the uh, this attention from the crowd and and that's definitely something that I can look back on now and know um, that that is like the smallest percent of what you do and what you get to receive so you really have to love all of the other parts if you want to be successful and happy in this role. There are three things that I particularly look for when I'm looking for a high school drum major. Someone who is always serving, 
someone who is always practicing, and someone who is always leading. When I say those three things, I mean this. Someone who is always serving, in that they are always serving the band program whenever they're there. Are they stacking and racking chairs if it's before or after rehearsal? Are they helping bring equipment to and from the rehearsal site? When the instrument repair person comes by, are they the first person to volunteer to take that instrument out to the car for the road man? You see, we are always looking for somebody who is service-minded, somebody who is not afraid to get into the trenches and do the dirty work that oftentimes goes overlooked when thinking about how to serve the band. I'm also looking for somebody who is always practicing. It's very difficult for somebody who is leading the band to not be one of the leading musicians of the band. Again, I think that most of my mentors and colleagues would agree that they would rather have a quality musician who is always practicing their instrument leading the band than somebody who is maybe not at the top of the section. It's difficult during the middle of a rehearsal if you're asking somebody to work hard or to keep practicing if they know that you yourself, the leader, are not practicing. Being a musical leader for the group is almost as important as being a service-oriented leader for your band. And finally, we're looking for somebody who leads. And when I say that, I mean they are the person organizing events, whether that's organizing a section party or organizing some extra practice time for some members maybe of the second or third band in your program. Oftentimes when I'm talking with my head band director or fellow associate director, we are looking for somebody who is not afraid to grab the attention of the room, get them focused, and get them going towards a goal. There are certain times where the director is going to have to trust that the drum major can manage the entire group, whether that's starting a rehearsal if the director's in the meeting, making sure that the band hall gets picked up after a football game if the directors are still in the stadium or on the buses, or any other number of tasks that would require students to be organized by another student. Oftentimes, many band directors are looking for somebody who is not afraid to serve, practice, or lead, and that they've been doing that since they joined the band program. Many of the jobs that the drum major does are often unseen by the members at large. A very small percent of what you do is actually the performing aspect. And a lot of it is spent outside of that doing kind of administrative things, helping your band director. Um, I know that I was constantly running around doing chores for my band director, coming hours in early to do inventory, staying late, making sure, you know, attendance was taken, um, setting up sectionals and um, leadership meetings and running those, making sure those were happening. I want to offer you this final piece of advice. It doesn't matter if you are in the top band or the bottom band. If you're thinking about auditioning for drum major, you should do it. The process of auditioning for drum major will be a growing and learning experience for you. All of you at some point will have to prepare and interview for some sort of job application process. Learning how to put yourself out there and be uncomfortable being analyzed is important as you become a young adult getting ready to enter into the workforce. So even if you don't become drum major, there's still a ton that you can learn by the audition process. Remember, it is not about conducting. It is not about the glory on the podium. Though that is one of the few benefits that comes with being a drum major, it's not what we as band directors are looking for. Be prepared to serve, be prepared to practice, and be prepared to lead. In the next video, we're going to talk with Claire a bit more about drum corps and how to become a drum corps drum major or conductor. This is a process that I personally haven't been through. However, I have been on the other side where I've chosen different drum majors and conductors for various drum corps. I hope you found this enjoyable. And if you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. As always, thanks for watching.